Good day, students. Today, we are going to tackle the singular and plural possessive nouns. So, what are possessive nouns? Possessive nouns show ownership. They show that something belongs to a person, thing, or animal. So, instead of saying the car of the boy, we can say the boy's car. And instead of saying the cars of the boys, we can say the boy's cars. Both possessive noun sounds the same, but they have difference. The first one, we can see that there is an apostrophe and S in the noun boy. While in the second one, there is an apostrophe after the S in the noun boys. So later, we will explain that further. We have rules to follow in order to form a singular and plural possessive nouns. So, how do nouns show possession? So, our first rule is to make a singular noun possessive, we add apostrophe and s. For example, the bag of the student and it will become the student's bag. As you can see, our noun here is student and we only have one student. Therefore, we add apostrophe and s in our noun, student. Next example is the book of the teacher and it will become the teacher's book. So we only have one teacher here, therefore we add apostrophe and s to make it possessive. Our next rule is to make a plural noun possessive, we add apostrophe after the s. So, instead of saying the alertness of the boys, we say the boys' alertness. So, our noun here is the word boys. And we have more than one boys. Therefore, we just add apostrophe after the S in our noun, boys. Then, instead of saying production number of the dancers, we say it dancers production number. And our noun here is the word dancers. So we have more than one dancer. Therefore, we just add apostrophe after the S in the word dancers. And our third rule, if the plural form of noun does not end in S, we still need to add apostrophe and S. For example, women's tree. Children's day out, people's parade, mice's feet, and last, gentlemen's association. Although the nouns women, children, people, mice, and gentlemen are all plural nouns, but they still don't end in S because they are irregular plural nouns. Therefore, we still have to add a false P and S to make it possessive. And proper nouns ending in Z usually form the possessive by adding a false P and S. For example, Music group of Mrs. Paz and it will become Mrs. Paz music group. So we have the proper noun Mrs. Paz and it ends with Z. Therefore, we still have to add apostrophe and S. Next, instead of saying office of attorney Sanchez, we can say attorney Sanchez office and also it ends with letter Z, therefore we still have to add apostrophe and S to form a possessive noun. However, the addition of apostrophe and S to noun ending in S 
can make too much hissing. So, some speakers prefer not to pronounce it. Hence, they omit S in spelling. And we have examples. Julius. So, we just add apostrophe in Julius. Julius letter. Lucas. And it just become Lucas collection. With compound nouns, the apostrophe and S is added to the end of the word to form the possessive. Example. Mother-in-law dress and it will become Mother-in-law's dress So as you can see, we just add apostrophe and S to the end of the compound word Mother-in-law And look at this second example We have Mother's-in-law dress It just become Mother's-in-law's dress so, same as with the first example, we just add apostrophe and S to the end of the compound noun. So, that's it for today's video. And before we end this video, I want to leave a verse in James chapter 1 verse 5 saying, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally, and that pray that not, and it shall be given him. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you learned something new today. Enjoy learning!